I promised you all that in 2021, I'm not going to joke with you guys. 2021 is the time that I want you out there to go out there and go live your life. I'm not saying go and have fun, but I'm saying that be part of the change that we are looking for on the continent. Entrepreneurship is the key whether you like it or not. So this is the best channel for you to subscribe because I'm going to bring inspiring people every single day. I'm not going to joke with you. Have you subscribed to the channel? I mean, I told you that help us reach 700K. I mean, after 700, straight to a million. But hey, I've been also been telling you that Nigeria is not just Lagos and Abuja. I'm here in the cold city. I'm here in 042. I mean, if you have never been here, you definitely don't know what I'm talking about. This is Enugu, and where I am is called, is it Enugu State? No, I'm not from here. I'm not going to talk too much about places that I don't know. I've got a special guest today, one of the best YouTubers here in Enugu State. And she's going to be the one to take me around today. Hi, what? Do I have to call you before you come? Because I'm already introducing you. <laughs> Hello, what? hello, hello, the Mayans, the Mayan army. It is me, your girl Tivera here, with Wadamaya in Enugu. Can you just read what is on his t shirt? The cold city, cold city state of mind. He's here in Enugu, live and direct. And on today's episode, I'm here to take him to one of the youngest guys doing great things here in cold city. And like you rightly said, Nigeria is not about Lagos or Abuja. We Thank also you. have Enugu, and we are doing wonderful things here. So today we are at Rosette Paint. Rosette is a company making premium paint here in Nigeria. Like if you're looking for anything, paint, building, real estate, whatever, Rosette is a place to look for. And the interesting thing about this company is that it is owned by a young guy. A young like, guy a young from young where? Man. A young guy from Enugu State. He's an African too. He's an African. That's impressive. And he's an Igbo man. Uh, <laughs> Igbo Kwenu. Yes. Please, uh, my title, uh, one day, the, hey, hey, I can't even remember my own name. My, do you know my, ch I have a chief title yeah, now. So. One day, the number. Wow. Say, Igbo Kwenu. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But hey, I mean, you know, I've got a lot of people who don't know anything about Enugu. If you have to say something about Enugu, what are you going to say? I would say that Enugu, first of all, is a state in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Mm. And it's also a state known for its serenity, cleanness, and um, everything ambience is of this state. So if you're looking for a place to relax, a place to unwind, after the whole busters and houses of Lagos and Abuja, this is a place to come. And Enugu is taking over. So if you're looking to invest, please come home. Because there's something we say in Igbo. Akulono. So please bring the Aku. Aku means wealth. Okay. So bring the wealth back home. Come I, and do something I, here. I, I think Enugu has to employ you as their <laughs> ambassador because within one minute you sold the whole city. That's what I do. That's Fantastic. What I do That's what I do as Tivera. Check her, check her out on her YouTube channel. The link will be in the description box. Make sure you subscribe. Don't disappoint me. I mean, she has over 6,000 subscribers. Yeah. You know, we can make that magic happen by making her get 10,000 subscribers. I don't want to talk too much. Can you take me to meet this young gentleman? Oh, so before we go there, I have something from Rosette from you. Can you? So I think you hey. wear this, right? It's like I, I'm a brand ambassador yeah, now. Yeah, he's a brand ambassador. Yeah, yeah I'm... Hey. <laughs> Rosette, you have to pay me for this one. Hey. Okay, you know, I support African businesses. Yeah. So I'm just going to wear see? this one just to support the business. Wow, Maya. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. welcome to good day, sir. Yeah. Maya, this is the man I've told you about, the oh. MP CEO of Rosette Paint. So this is what the Maya. Wow, oh Maya, Maya, good to meet you. Yeah. It's nice meeting you. My pleasure. Everyone is talking about you. Oh. I thank have you. just three hours in Enugu and oh, everyone okay. is telling me that if I don't meet you, I can't live here. Oh wow, wow. What wow. is so special about you that everyone is telling me to meet you? Ah, well, first of all, my name is Casey OG. Okay. Yeah, I'm an architect. And uh, I happen to be the CEO of uh, this company, Paint Rosettes. And there uh, are so many other companies that we have under this particular building. I mean, you manufacture paint or you just distribute paint? Yeah, we, we produce here, we manufacture here. You produce here? Yeah, 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 we, we produce here. Are you the CEO? Yes, I'm the CEO of the company, yes. We produce here. We first of all started uh, with importation. Uh, we imported part of it, then 100% okay. uh, importation. Then from there, we started the uh, local production, 50-50. Then now we are almost uh, zero importation. We are doing all the productions here, and we have uh, a two stages of, of production. We have uh, the primary production going on here. Mm -hmm. We have the secondary production going on here. But we have outlets outside of Enugu. We have in Lagos, we have in Abuja, 
we have in Oweri, we have in Portacot, we have in Uyo, we have in Asaba. But all those places you have the secondary production going on there, but here we have the primary production and yes. the secondary production going on here. What I mean by primary production is this is where we do the production of the paint, the main production, then the tinting, the tinting process is the secondary production. We move from here in white colors, in white containers, in containers to all our outlets. Then they do the tinting, which is another process of production before it gets to the customer. Let, let me understand, yeah? Yeah. The people who are producing the paint, are yes. they Africans? Yeah, they're all Africans. We're all Africans, yeah. We don't have any expatriate here. Yeah, we're doing it. Starting from even our technical team here, even before we started production, the installation of the machines were all done by Africans. Wow. We've not had to, imp to bring anybody in here to do any you installation You know, before for us. you take me to your factory, yeah. I would love to get to know who you are before I start, yeah? But um, the sun is really shining. Ah, it's Sorry. okay, so it's okay. Let, I can take you to the factory. No, mm -hmm. before you take me to the factory, okay. can I find a place and sit down with you and talk to you oh, about sure. who you oh, are sure. and then from there take me to your okay, factory? Okay, so, so let's go to the office. Okay, so let's go. You know, yeah. I have heard a lot about you. Somebody okay. introduced me to you, yeah. but personally, I don't know you. And my audience out there are from different part of the world. Yeah. So I just want you to tell me who you are and um, where you're from. Okay, my name is Casey Oji. I'm an architect. I'm from Ibia State. Uh, but I live, I'm based in Enugu here, and that's where I do my businesses. And there maybe some other places where we have our branches. So uh, the paint company, that's, I'm sure that's the one you've heard about. Yeah. Uh, though we have other companies, we have the KKH Contractors, a construction company, because I'm an architect, so I still do my business. Then we have the door company, we import doors. Then we have other companies, the uh, Rosettes Oil and Gas, we're into oil and gas and all that. We have a real estate company. But then uh, we have uh, the paint company that everybody is talking about now. That's the paint Rosettes. Wow. I, I happen to be the CEO of the company. We have our branches, a lot of places like in Lagos, uh, we have in Abuja, we have in Asaba, we have in Portacot, we have in Oweri, we have in Oyo. Okay. But we have, these are outlets that we have those places. So you, but this is the head office. You are an architect? Right? Yes, I'm an architect, yes. So after school, you practice? Yes, yes. Where? Yeah, in Enugu here. In Enugu, yeah, yeah, but as an architect, you get jobs, you do jobs a lot of places. You can so go to. So, yeah. what really inspired you to start a painting business? Ah, well, well, um, I think the, it should be what inspired me to become an entrepreneur. Okay. Because uh, right from time, I've always known I, I had a lot of people linked up to my vision and my okay. dream, and I was able to discover it when I was younger, okay. and when I was even in secondary school. Because I had to set up uh, some uh, some businesses doing. I was uh, I had a barber salon running. When were you? Uh, when I was in secondary school, yes. Barber salon. Yes, I had a barber salon. Yeah, I had a shoe mending factory, just a mini small a mini shoe mending factory. Then um, we were into. I had a radio mechanic shop as well. So uh, I knew I wasn't going to uh, be on a paid job on anybody's payroll. So because a lot of people need to be employed. So, and uh, I also got it clearer when I got into school and, um, and we were asked what they, why we wanted to be architects because archi one of the things I told them was I needed a job and some other businesses where we can, where we can employ people, reduce the unemployment rate in the society. We have a lot of issues in Africa. So well, that was one of the responses that I gave to them. I wanted to do that, I wanted to do that, and some other things that would be able to make me employ more people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and also I was inspired more when I got into the business of architecture and found out that a lot of people, everybody, almost every human being in the world has an option of colors. You can, you can attest to that when you ask a little child, what color was your favorite color? They, they already have their colors. Mm -hmm. So even at, as at a little kid, so they have their colors. So, and we decided to have a paint company, a paint product that should be able to give everybody the option of the color that he wants. Okay. So what I mean by that, uh, it's it made us to research even deeper and deeper and found out that most of the paint companies around the world, uh, they, they, are, they restrict customers and people to the colors that they can produce. Okay. So we needed to do something more to, to be able to produce any kind of color so that any person who have a place in our company it, it, to pick your colors, the colors that you want. And, and, uh, and that's why we have a, we did a lot, of, a lot of research on all the products available in the market. Mm. We found out that there are so many things that need to be done okay. for Africans, you know. And uh, we also found out deeper uh, on, on the technical part that there are some, um, some, uh, uh, some shortchanging of the qualities of products coming into the country, even the ones that are being imported. So we had to work on those, those ones. 
analyzed all the products in the market and they created a formulation for ourselves that is an improvement on every product that is in the market yeah. and that's why you heard about a product so which means that you're doing something in africa for africans yes yeah for africans yeah yeah because most of these companies outside the world outside africa that that, that bring their products to africa they don't really know the environment very well okay. so so they don't know us they don't know the, the heat they don't know the weather in africa so we needed to study it very deeply and they will be able to take care of that and we have done that already i i want to understand before you achieve this did yeah. you live in nigeria all your life I've lived in Nigeria all my life. No, I, I've traveled abroad. I've, traveled, I've had reasons to travel to a lot of countries in the world uh, where I've seen all those products and all that. But I don't think I've ever stayed in, outside Nigeria for more than a month. So my you, business is here in Nigeria. So you're trying to say that it's yeah. possible in Nigeria? Yeah, sure. Why not? It's very possible. It's very possible. What you're doing right now, having a paint business, do you think it's worth it? Yeah, yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, it's, it's worth it. It's, yeah, it's good. Yeah, that area. Yeah, it's very good. Like every business, like if you study a business very well and know how to go about it, you should be able to find out every business has a, has a level of uh, profitability in it. Uh, so, but then the profit is not the key. The key thing was to make sure that our people get the best quality, our uh, people get employed, mm. and our uh, people get the options that they have in colors, and our uh, people get the durability that they want, that they pay for. They pay a lot. They pay for all those important products. They pay a lot. So, and when you pay a lot, you have a product that after like a few years, you have issues with the, with the product. The, it doesn't have quality. It doesn't have enough uh, the, the right dosage of anti-fungi and the, the weather resistance that everybody needs. Mm. So we had to work on all these things and be able to, it's not on the profit, our profit margin is low compared to what they're doing, mm. but we have the uh, satisfaction that our people are getting what they want. How many uh, people have you employed so far? Um, so far, I think um, we should be about 122 or so. Yeah, oh. all our branches, yeah, 122 now. But that's a uh, class counting because we hope to take a whole lot of people. Amazing. I, I would love to go check out the factory. Let me see what goes on in the factory and I'll ask you my next question. Okay, okay, no problem. Maya, you're welcome to our factory. Thank you. Like I said, this is the primary production section. All right. So we produce all, we mix all the additives and the, the chemicals and the raw, all the raw materials together here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I do the milling here and uh, to get the, to get the, uh, the product in white okay. before it goes to all our outlets for secondary production before the customer takes it except a customer that wants to take it in white okay. so we have we actually have a, a smart production going on here what i mean by that is we don't need too much space to be able to produce run our productions mm. because we don't produce the colors and keep we produce in white so as, uh, as uh, once the product is going down we should be able to find out and we'll run more productions and start and keep so okay. we don't have any space to keep all the colors different different colors like other paint companies are doing so this is actually a, a very big innovation on our own part wow. and it's helping us can i can you show me where you do the smart production yeah this is this is where this is where we do it this is where we do it this is where we meet all the mix all the products all the raw materials <laughs> Yes. So, like, you're gonna get a white paint from yeah, there. Yeah, you're going to get a white paint. And then here. from there, from there, you take it to the tinting room. Uh -huh. From the tinting room, you can take it. Can the customers can take it from there? Wow. So everything is from start. From here, to then the to the tinting room, then to the customer. customer. Yes, yes, yes. That's beautiful. That's there. Yes, yes. Wow. I know you're a young entrepreneur. Yeah. And I have so many young entrepreneurs watching us right now. Yeah. So I just want to know what are the kind of challenges that you face as a young entrepreneur starting this whole business here in Nigeria? Yeah, um, the truth is that, Maya, it, it wasn't easy because we are in Africa. We know how difficult it is uh -huh. for an entrepreneur to start in Africa because if it were other parts of the world, you'd be able to have access to funds. But in Africa, it would be very difficult. It was actually that difficult for us to start. But we had to start. Okay. Uh, 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 the, the, what was propelling us was bigger than what the constraints that we had when we were okay. starting. Uh, actually here in this factory where you're staying, we, at, we mixed products with bare hand here. That was how we started. You started the, with bare hand? Yeah, we stared it with bare hand here. That was how we, when we did... We, there, were, there were no machines, but we had to start. So then, then I have, like I said, I have a construction company and I was patronizing myself. I was buying all the products myself. Okay. When it wasn't to the standard that we needed to take to the market, okay. I was buying all of them myself. Wow. So, but we needed to start. And when it was what we wanted, we started taking it to the market. We started telling people about it. So they were, we had challenges. We also had some challenges from uh, big companies, big companies per se, mm. that were that were on the side of bullying us because they didn't want us to 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 come out because uh, they didn't want us to to come out. 
they saw us as a very big challenge and then uh, it was it was tough as well and but, that's, but there's one thing that i think i, I really want to know does african governments really support young entrepreneurs um, I, I, um, I, maybe maybe there could be policies uh, by some governments okay. uh, and all that but the truth is that up to now we've not been able to assess any of those policies of those are uh, any of those facilities or anything any assistance from them my, my brother, but, 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 but it doesn't deter us we are we are moving and we are pushing forward and uh, that's that's really inspirational bro i think yeah. your life alone is inspirational to so many people yeah. but I, I just want to know yeah we have so many young Africans who are trying their best to be an entrepreneur if you have a message for such young Africans what would that message be yeah they have to just keep on you have to follow your dream you should be able to know what where your areas of areas of strength lie mm. and you should be able to follow it and the most important thing is you don't have to in Africa you don't have to wait for the government you you, you need to start wow. you need to start small and most importantly, I, I, from what I've seen recently, I've seen the governments, they help. But mo that, that's when you must have started. Okay. So it's always very difficult for you to meet the government and explain what you want, and they will give you assistance. Maybe, no, no, you need to start. Then you can tell them, maybe possibly, possibly, maybe you can, you can be lucky and you assess the phone. My brother, where do we find Rosette Paint? Okay, um, this is the head office. Okay. Then we have our, our outlets at, in Lagos, we have in Abuja. We have in Owere, then uh, Portacot, Aba, Uyo, Asaba, and um, Aba Kliki. Then we are very active as well on social media, on, on Facebook, on Instagram, and uh, Twitter. Then our website is up and running as well. Are you selling only in Nigeria? Um, we are selling. We, are, we, we have customers buying from outside the country, but we don't have outlets outside the country. So you're looking for uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If we can have people from I outside, mean, you just have to tell them. Yeah, yeah. If we have people, you know, from Ghana, like anybody that is interested in being our distributor in Ghana, other parts of uh, Africa, then we can we can do that. We we Fun. have the capacity to do Fun. the production. Yeah. Do you think that? I mean, let me understand. Yeah. You achieved everything in Nigeria. Yeah, of course. Yes, of course. You think it's possible to make it in Nigeria? Oh, yeah, of course. It's very possible. We are making it here in Nigeria and we're making it big. Yeah, but you need to start small. Exactly. Then, then with time, give it some time, be on it, be serious with what you're doing, be consistent, then work on the quality, maintain the quality, and with time, you see a lot of people buying your products and, they, and they referring other people, and that's it. If you had a chance to change one thing in Africa, what would it be? Oh, the way we see ourselves, you know, that they are cannot do with spirit in Africa. Something has to be done about it. Something has to be done, especially in our youths, you know. We, we, we just have to believe that we can do it, and we have to start. What? Yeah, that, that, that's 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 what why, I. Why do you think Africans don't believe that they can do it? Yeah, because more, yeah, most times when you when you see the value we place on um, uh, maybe some foreign products, you see that something is wrong. When we can actually have the better products down here, and everybody is thinking that it, it has to just come, it has to cross the border for it to be a very quality good. So that 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 mentality has to change. We have the best going on in Nigeria and in Africa. And we are, we are good. If you talk about the installation, the, the machines installation, we had reasons to bring those uh, our expatriates to come for the installation of the machines. Mm. But we decided to do it here. We did all the installations ourselves. We've not had any, we've not brought any of them here. Africans, we can do it. If we believe we can do it, we can do it. We are doing it and it's working. My brother, I want to say thank you so much for yeah, thank you, talking Maya. to me. I really appreciate your time. You know, I'm not a brand ambassador for this company, but I think each and every African out there needs to support an African business. That is why I'm here. I'm even wearing their T-shirt. Bro, you didn't give me any money to be there. Ah, you, you, yeah. you, you heard about you, me. You right? have big passion for Africa. I, exactly. Uh, yeah, you're, you're working so hard. And I came in here. So, hey, if you're living in Nigeria, you have to support this brother's business by buying the paint. If you are living outside the country and you want to do business with him, I mean, it's time. You know, they, they've already launched intercontinental trade. It's time for you to trade with a different African country. Let's make it possible. Let everybody know that Africans can actually do business together. No matter where you're coming from, That's we true. all come together as one Africa. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. And don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to subscribe and be part of this awesome family. I'm going to see you in the next one. Aya Maya.